Hey guys, it's Ray. So today I wanted to share my review on this electric nail drill kit. It's by the brand Best I Dive, I think is how you say it. And this is what the box looks like. I bought this on Amazon. So as you can see, my nails are all over the place. I'm using the powder. This popped a lot faster than the rest. My hair is uh, starting to get stuck. It's a mess, so I can't wait. It was pretty affordable, like $19.99. And this is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to be opening this. Okay, right here. And this is what you get. First, ooh, this feels nice. This feels heavy, doesn't feel cheap. And this is really random, but I want to compare how heavy is this compared to some foods. It's a bit heavier than an apple for sure. Then I have a lemon and I'd say it's about the same weight. It feels a bit heavier. Orange feels a lot heavier than this. So it's in between this and this. Hopefully that helps somehow, but doesn't feel like impossible to work with. Heavy, you know what I mean? I don't think they have other like options as far as coloring goes. I like this one, rose gold. I think it's a really nice color. You also get this brush, which comes with some bristles coming out, but it's okay. I'll clean that later, but it's uh, handy to have these kinds of brushes when you're cleaning like specially deep powder. Then files, which is always handy to have, even though this is a file pretty much, it's always handy to have this around. The cable looks nice, looks long enough. This is a USB thing and this, I'm guessing you place it here. And then a bunch of this guys, it's nice. And then this, one and you get more of those. Oh, there you go. I couldn't open it. This has all of this. They get like texture to it. And then the instructions. I'm really excited about this one. This is really random and totally not important, but I love having one of these ones because in nail salons, they always have these things and I feel like I'm professional doing this, even though I am not. This makes me feel a kind of way and appreciate this coming here. I think for the price, what you get, it's really nice because I always used to use one of these. It's a thing I don't want to do anymore, so I tried just investing in one of this. The instructions are really clear, just these two. And what I wanted to know is what all these things are for. And this is the one where you place these things, like this. So, I'm going to be placing the one that I'm going to be using since I'm going to be removing this. I'm going to place this one, plug it in. Just. It's really long. Well, it's not really long, but it's long enough. This has been connected to my laptop because it's the closest thing that I have to a USB connector. You can kind of see the red light there. So in the middle it says, and that is off, right, and then left. And you can see it on. And in here you can change how high. I would never do that to my nail, but that's an option. I'm going to start with the lowest one. This is on the left. I have no idea what's the difference between right and left. Starting with this. And because I did my nails like super thick, I'm guessing I'm gonna be here for a while. Hear what this sounds like. It's really quiet. So if you do like a really thin gel manicure, I think you can get away with this or this. Do it slowly if you don't want to damage your nails. If you do a really thick acrylic or just deep powder like I did, somewhere in the middle, I think. If you do a manicure that's too thick like I did, if you do this slowly like this, going up and up and taking your time, you're going to feel less than if you do this, I found. Well, from my experience, my nerves, kind of. I was using this one, and then once I felt like um, I was getting too close to my skin, I switched to this one, the Q-tip, kind of, because it says in here that it removes nail gel. It's taking me a lot of work to get rid of like all the excess there, but I'm gonna keep on doing this, and then I'm gonna be using my acetone and some cotton, just remove my manicure to reapply it. A few tips that I have for you before I move on to the next ones. Don't place your, like this part, all the way down because it's really like tight and it's kind of like a struggle to take it out. So just as you have like enough space to remove this, you're good to go because this is not going anywhere while it's there. It's like, as you can see there. And another thing that I've noticed, 
If you work in circular motions, it's easier to get an even like removal, I guess. With this nail, with my ring finger nail, I'm feeling a lot more in like my like nerves because it's one of the sensible ones. Ooh, that hurts. Not hurts, but it burns. I went too far there, so just be careful. The only downside to it is the cable kind of gets in the way. It would be easier and less confusing for this control to be like somewhere here to make this easier to handle. But I found using this way easier to get your uh, manicure removed a lot faster and feels like a lot less damaging than by using one of this. I really like it, I recommend it. I think it's really handy, you have a lot of options. This comes handy because it's messy. I'm going to be cutting this and then taping it to this so I can know what works with what. Hopefully this was helpful and you liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more reviews that I have on my channel, subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.